The P90 is finally in the division and today I find out how to find the unique P90 exotic called the Shatterbox. It's a bit harder to get than the exotic deagle which I made a video about yesterday since this one actually don't have a 100% drop chance on the caches you need to open. For the exotic P90 you need 3 exotic parts and the blueprint. The parts are called the loaded canister, the creative magazine and the modified mods. You will find all of these in the hyena caches which are locked and requires hyena keys. To get the hyena keys you need to visit the underground and look for the locked caches. The best underground spots are these three. Most of the underground seems to work and usually in the start of the underground you will find at least one key box. There's a lot of other good loot and materials down there as well so I mean just loot away. So the key boxes looks like this and they contain a random faction key. We need the hyena keys for this one though. So when you farmed enough keys or friends, yes having a full forming group is actually beneficial for this but not required. Because you only need one person to use a key for the cash and everybody gets the loot. The loot drop though is character specific so if you join someone else sessions and you or someone else open it you won't get any drops at all so you can't cheese it that way. I'm not sure how long the respawns are though for the caches but I assume it's only a few hours maybe max a day. The respawn time is not the biggest deal though since there are plenty of caches for this around the map. So I will show the locations where I got my parts and I will also show the map with the hyena caches. So you don't have to wait for them to respawn right if you get unlucky. You will find each part in their own district. Every mission will have at least one hyena cache. So starting with the loaded canister. You will find it in the downtown east district. The main mission is Grand Washington Hotel right here. You can play the mission on normal because you just want to speed run through it as fast as possible until you get to the cache. So here is where you find the cache. I already had this exotic part when we opened it since I got it from a locked cache in the open world. Sadly I don't have a recording of that but you can see the map here and I will link it in the comment if you want to check it yourself. Then we have the creative magazine which you will find in the federal triangle district. The main mission where we found it was Jefferson Trade Center right after you cleared the garage. You can also see some of the open world hyena caches here on the map if you get unlucky with the mission and don't want to wait for it to, to respawn right. Then we have the modify mods and that will drop from the judiciary square district. The main mission here is the hyena stronghold called district union area. The location of it is right here. Sadly I don't have any maps with other caches here but maybe they will update the map so as I said check the pinned comment later because otherwise you would have to wait until it respawns and as I said I'm not 100% sure about that but it should be just a few hours or maybe a day. So when you collected all three exotic parts you need to get the Shatterbox blueprint. You will get the blueprint from the downtown test district so the main mission here is called bank headquarters that I know contains the blueprint. So when you eliminate it rebound you will get a key card. however we need an extra key card. So you just head into the room right here and hold F and it will open and give you the key. Then just go down the rope from the elevators, head straight into the vault and turn left here. Open the door with the key and here is the cache. Before you open it make sure to pray to orange Jesus that you're lucky and hopefully you got it. So the first time I did this I was in a session with my friends so I didn't get the loot. So make sure the order is correct because you need the exotic parts before you can get the blueprint. And also in the footage here I did wait like 6 hours so I could open it again but I didn't get it so I guess it was quite unlucky so yeah. So if you get no loot from the cache it means that you have a cooldown on the respawn. If you are on your own session you usually can't open it. And yeah then you just head to the crafting station and craft it. You don't even need a P90 for this like a deagle so yeah just go and craft it. But yeah that's how you do it. Now let's actually check this exotic P90 out. So the exotic P90 versions come with 700 RPM instead of the normal 900. But don't worry, just look at this unique talent and you will understand why. So the first talent called Incessant Shatter gives you 1% rate of fire for every shot you land. Worth to note though is that missing shots do not lower this buff. It can stack all the way up to 60 but if you reload the buff is lost. The second talent called Box Magazine gives you 20% refill of your mag and grants a buff for 10 seconds when you get a kill. When the buff is active every shot you land will increase the mag capacity by 1 to a max of 60. If you kill a target the buff is consumed and refills your mag. So shooting an enemy will get you the rate of fire buff going up then when you get the kill you will lose the RPM but you get 20% refill of your mag and receive the box mag buff. When the box mag is active you gain 1 mag size plus 1% RPM per hit. 
So as long as you hit your shots and get kills before you have to reload, you actually never have to reload. So you will just have an unlimited P90 with crazy rate of fire. Something else worth mentioning is that you get stacks if you hit a shield for example. So it's pretty good to just melt a shield with this one and stack up your rate of fire. Then we have the holster talent, which is also pretty damn good, especially if you're playing guns with high rate of fire. The holster talent is called Blabbermouth. So when the Shatterbox, the P90, is holstered and you get a kill with another weapon, let's say like MP7, and you reload MP7 before 5 seconds after a kill, you will gain 20% rate of fire buff for 10 seconds on the MP7. So the Shatterbox is actually a pretty damn good gun just to have holstered and buff other guns you want to use. So I gotta say I think the design of this gun is really fun since I'm a big fan of higher rate of fire guns. I had a lot of fun using the Shatterbox but yeah that's all the info about the exotic P90 Shatterbox. I hope you guys found this guide and tips and tricks useful and if you are interested in more guides or Division 2 videos in general make sure to hit that subscribe button. But yeah see you in the next video.